Hello my dear students, once again I welcome you all to another episode of Noble Mathematics. We will find a way or make one. In the previous video you have learned how to solve a pair of linear equations in two variables by the method of substitution. In today's class you will learn how to solve few word problems based on the substitution method from the exercise 3.3 of NCRT textbook. If you like the videos, please don't forget to share to others and if you have any suggestions, please leave it as a comment in the comment box. If not subscribed, please subscribe the channel and press on the notification bell so that you will get the regular updates whenever, whenever I post a video in this channel. The first question we are going to consider today is from NCRT textbook exercise 3.3 question number 3. There are few questions under question number 3. The question is to form a pair of linear equations in two variables and solve. The question is the difference between two numbers is 26 and one number is 3 times the other. Find the numbers. So as I told you in the previous classes, whenever you get a word problem, you have to read and understand the question and in each question we will have to find two unknowns. We will use the variables x and y to represent these two unknowns and using the question that is the conditions given in the questions we will form two linear equations in two variables and we will solve it by substitution method. Here the question is the difference between two numbers is 26 and one is 3 times the other. In this question the two unknowns are two numbers. We will use x for the larger number and y for the smaller number. Let larger number is equal to x and smaller number is equal to y according to the first condition the difference between the two numbers is 26 difference is equal to 26 means the difference of x and y that is x minus y is equal to 26 here we get the first equation very easily and the second condition according to the second condition the one the larger number is thrice the smaller one so we can say that larger number is equal to 3 into smaller number this is the skeleton equation larger number means x is equal to 3y. So here we are getting the second equation also very easily. As we are going to use the substitution method, we know that from the second equation x is in terms of y. So we substitute x is equal to 3y. In equation number 1, you will get a linear equation in one variable y. Substitute x is equal to 3y in equation number 1 gives 3y minus y is equal to 26. So this is a linear equation in one variable y. 3y minus y is 2y is equal to 26. Therefore y is equal to 26 by 2 that is equal to 13. The value of y is equal to 13, therefore x is equal to 3y, that is 3 into 13, 39, therefore the numbers are, numbers are 39 and 13. The next question we are going to consider is, fourth question under question number 3, the question is, the taxi charge in a city 
consists of a fixed charge together with the charge for the distance covered for a distance of 10 km the charge paid is rupees 105 and for a journey of 15 km the charge paid is rupees 55 what is the fixed charge and the charge per kilometer how much does a person have to pay for traveling a distance of 25 km look at the question the question says that if you hire a taxi in a particular city, it consists of two charges. One is a fixed charge and the next one is the charge per kilometer. So here the two unknown values are the fixed charge and the charge per kilometer. So the total charge to be paid by a passenger is the sum of the fixed charge and the charge he traveled for the entire distance. So here the two unknowns are the fixed charge and the charge per kilometer. So we will represent them by using the variables x and y. Let fixed charge is equal to x and Charge per kilometer is equal to y. According to the first case, the total charge for traveling a distance of 10 kilometer is rupees 105. This charge consists of the fixed charge and the charge per kilometer therefore we can write this as x plus which is the fixed charge and for one kilometer it is y here the distance traveled is 10 kilometer so the charge for the distance traveled is 10y which is equal to 105 we get equation number one similarly according to the second case Charge for 15 km is rupees 155. So there is another case. If a person travels for 15 km, he will have to pay rupees 155. This also consists of the fixed charge, that is x plus the charge for 15 km, that is 15y, is equal to 155 which is equation number 2. Now we have to use the substitution method from equation 1. We can write x is equal to 105 minus 10y. Here we have expressed x in terms of y and substitute x is equal to 105 minus 10y in equation 2 gives in place of x, we will write 105 minus 10y plus 15y is equal to 155. Thus, we get a linear equation in one variable, y. Solving minus 10y plus 15y is uh, 5y is equal to, here we have 155 minus 105. That gives 5y is equal to 50. Therefore, y is equal to 50 by 5, that is equal to 10. The value of y is equal to 10. Now, x is equal to, x is equal to 105 minus 10y. 105 minus 10 into 10, that is equal to 5. 105 minus 10 into 10, 100, so we get 5. Therefore, we get x is equal to 5. And y is equal to 10. Therefore, we can say that the fixed charge is equal to rupees 5 and charge per kilometer is equal to rupees 10. Now, we have to find 
the total charge to be paid by a passenger who travels 25 km. Therefore, charge for 25 km is equal to, it consists of the fixed charge that is 5 plus the charge for 25 km that is 25 into 10 which is equal to 5 plus 250 which is equal to rupees 255. So this is the charge that a passenger has to pay if he travels for a 25 km. Now we consider question number 6 under question number 3. The question is 5 years hence Jacob's age will be 3 times that of his son. 5 years ago Jacob's age was 7 times that of his son. Find their present ages. Here the question establishes a relationship between the age of a father and son. According to the question, the two persons described here are Jacob and his son. So the two unknown values are Jacob's present age and his son's present age. So we will use X and Y for representing the two ages. Let Jacob's present age is equal to X and his son's present age is equal to Y. According to the question, no relation is given between the ages of Jacob and his son at present. The relations given are 5 years ago and 5 years after. So first it is 5 years hence means after 5 years. If Jacob's present age is x, what will be his age after 5 years? x plus 5. Similarly, his son's age after 5 years will be y plus 5. So we can write after 5 years, Jacob's age will be x plus 5 and his son's age will be y plus 5. And now according to the question, a relation is given between these two ages. The question says that after 5 years, Jacob will be 3 times as old as his son. So according to the question, Jacob's age x plus 5 will be equal to 3 times the age of his son, that is 3 into y plus 5. So from this relation, we are getting the first equation. So x plus 5 is equal to 3 into y, 3y plus 3 into 5, 15. Taking 3y to LHS and plus 5 to RHS, we get x minus 3y is equal to 15 minus 5. Therefore, x minus 3y is equal to 10, which is the first equation. Now, the relation is given before 5 years. Now, we are going to the second case. Before 5 years. If the present age of Jacob and his sons are x and y respectively, what were their ages before 5 years? Jacob's age was x minus 5 and son's age was y minus 5. Now according to the question, the relation between the ages is Jacob was 7 times as old as his son. So we can say that x minus 5 is equal to 7 into y minus 5. This gives 
x minus 5 is equal to 7y minus 35. Taking 7y to LHS, x minus 7y is equal to. And taking minus 5 to RHS, minus 35 plus 5. And hence, we get x minus 7y is equal to minus 30, which is equation number 2. Now, we have used the substitution method. For that, I take the first equation. From equation 1, I can write x is equal to 10 plus 3y. Minus 3y will go to RHS as a plus 3y. So, x is equal to 10 plus 3y. Substitute x is equal to 10 plus 3y in equation number 2. In place of x, we will write 10 plus 3y minus 7y is equal to minus 30. 3y minus 7y minus 4y is equal to minus 30 plus 10 will go as a minus 10. So, we are getting minus 4y is equal to minus 40. Minus minus will be plus. Therefore, y is equal to 40 by 4 that is equal to 10. Here you know minus and minus will be cancelled. So, we are getting y is equal to 40 by 4 which is equal to 10. Now, x is equal to x is equal to we have 10 plus 3y that is 10 plus 3 into 10 that is equal to 10 plus 30 which is equal to 40. So, the value of x is 40 and the value of uh, y is equal to 10. Therefore, we can say that Jacob's present age is equal to 40 years and son's present age is equal to 10 years. With this question, I wind up exercise 3.3 of NCR textbook. We will learn the next method of solving a pair of linear equations in two variables, that is elimination method in the next class and few weird problems based on the elimination method. Till then, take care, goodbye.